Literature for Children in the United Kingdom. Literature for children developed as a separate category of literature especially in the Victorian era. Some works became internationally known, such as those of Lewis Carroll, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, 1865, and its sequel Through the Looking Glass. At the end of the Victorian era and leading into the Edwardian era, Beatrix Potter was an author and illustrator, best known for her children's books, which featured animal characters. In her thirties, Potter published The Tale of Peter Rabbit in 1902. Potter eventually went on to publish 23 children's books and become a wealthy woman. Michael O'Tunnell and James S. Jacobs, professors of children's literature at Brigham Young University, write, Potter was the first to use pictures as well as words to tell the story, incorporating colored illustration with text, page for page. Another classic of the period is Anna Sewell's animal novel Black Beauty, 1877. In the latter years of the 19th century, precursors of the modern picture book were illustrated books of poems and short stories produced by English illustrators Randolph Caldecott, Walter Crane, and Kate Greenaway. These had a larger proportion of pictures to words than earlier books, and many of their pictures were in color. Some British artists made their living illustrating novels and children's books, among them were Arthur Rackham, Cicely Mary Barker, W. Heath Robinson, Henry J. Ford, John Leach, and George Cruikshank. The Kailyard School of Scottish Writers, notably J. M. Barry, creator of Peter Pan, 1904, presented an idealized version of society and brought fantasy and folklore back into fashion. In 1908, Kenneth Graham wrote the children's classic The Wind in the Willows and the Scouts founder Robert Barden Powell's first book Scouting for Boys was published. Inspiration for Francis Hodgson Burnett's novel The Secret Garden, 1910, was the Great Maytham Hall Garden in Kent. In 1920 Hugh Lofting created the character Dr. Doolittle who appears in a series of twelve books. The golden age of children's literature ended with World War I in Great Britain and Europe, and the period before World War II was much slower in children's publishing. The main exceptions in England were the publications of Winnie the Pooh by A. A. Milne in 1926, the first Mary Poppins book by P. L. Travers in 1934, The Hobbit by J. R. R. Tolkien in 1937, and the Arthurian novel The Sword in the Stone by T. H. White in 1938. Children's paperback books were first released in England in 1940 under the Puffin Books imprint, and their lower prices helped make book buying possible for children during World War II. Enid Blyton's books have been among the world's bestsellers since the 1930s, selling more than 600 million copies. Blyton's books are still enormously popular, and have been translated into almost 90 languages. She wrote on a wide range of topics including education, natural history, fantasy, mystery, and biblical narratives and is best remembered today for her Noddy, The Famous Five, The Secret Seven, and The Adventure Series. 42, the first of these children's stories, Five on a Treasure Island, was published in 1942. In the 1950s, the book market in Europe began recovering from the effects of two world wars. An informal literary discussion group associated with the English faculty at the University of Oxford, were the Inklings. Its leading members were the major fantasy novelists, C. S. Lewis and J. R. R. Tolkien. C. S. Lewis published the first installment of the Chronicles of Narnia series in 1950 while Tolkien is best known in addition to The Hobbit as the author of The Lord of the Rings. 1954, another significant writer of fantasy stories is Alan Garner author of Elidor, 1965, and The Owl Service, 1967. The latter work is an adaptation of the myth of Blade Awood from the Mabinogion, set in modern Wales, and for it Garner won the annual Carnegie Medal from the Library Association, recognizing the year's best children's book by a British author. Mary Norton wrote The Borrowers, 1952, featuring tiny people who borrow from humans. Dodie Smith's The Hundred and One Dalmatians was published in 1956. Philippa Pierce's Tom's Midnight Garden, 1958, has him opening the garden door at night and entering into a different age. 
The heroine of Charlotte Sometimes by Penelope Farmer, 1969, is already shaken by her arrival in a girl's boarding school when she finds herself waking as another girl in the same bed, but decades earlier. Closer to reality, Jenny in No One Must Know, 1962, by Barbara Slay is a newcomer in the street who faces a landlord's pet ban. She needs urgent help from nearby children to hide her cat and kittens. Roald Dahl rose to prominence with his children's fantasy novels, often inspired from experiences from his childhood, with often unexpected endings, and unsentimental, dark humor. Dahl was inspired to write Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, 1964, featuring the eccentric candy maker Willy Wonka, having grown up near two chocolate makers in England who often tried to steal trade secrets by sending spies into the other's factory. His other works include James and the Giant Peach, 1961, Fantastic Mr. Fox, 1971, The Witches, 1983, and Matilda, 1988. Starting in 1958, Michael Bond published humorous stories about Paddington Bear. Boarding schools in literature are centered on older pre-adolescent and adolescent school life, and are most commonly set in English boarding schools. Popular school stories from this period include Ronald Searle's St. Trinian's, 1949-53 and his illustrations for Geoffrey Willans's Molesworth series, Chill Murphy's The Worst Witch and the Jennings series by Anthony Buckeridge. Ruth Manning Sanders collected and retold fairy tales, and her first work A Book of Giants contains a number of famous giants, notably Jack and the Beanstalk. Susan Cooper's The Dark is Rising is a five-volume fantasy saga set in England and Wales. Raymond Briggs' children's picture book The Snowman, 1978, has been adapted as an animation, shown every Christmas on British television, and for the stage as a musical. The Reverend W. Audrey and Son Christopher's The Railway series features Thomas the Tank Engine. Marjorie Sharp's series The Rescuers is based on a heroic mouse organization. The third children's laureate Michael Moore Pergo published War Horse in 1982. The prolific children's author Dick Kingsmith's novels include The Sheep Pig, 1984, and The Water Horse. Diana Wynne Jones wrote the young adult fantasy novel Howl's Moving Castle in 1986. Anthony Horowitz's Alex Rider series begins with Stormbreaker, 2000. Cressida Cowell's How to Train Your Dragon series were published between 2003 and 2015. J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter fantasy series is a sequence of seven novels that chronicle the adventures of the adolescent wizard Harry Potter. The series began with Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in 1997 and ended with the seventh and final book Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows in 2007, becoming the best-selling book series in history. The series has been translated into 67 languages, placing Rowling among the most translated authors in history. Thank you.